graphing polar equations by hand and with the calculator. So we're going to do this polar equation, if I can get my thing going here. R equals 1 minus cosine theta. So as the angle changes, it's going to control the radius and create a set of points which we can connect. And here is the interval that we're given, 0 to 2 pi for the angles. So you make, uh, if you're going to do it by hand, you, what you should know how to do, um, you know, for some of these, 0, angle, so cosine of 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that's your first point right there, 0, 0 angle out 0. So really you're facing in the, in this direction with your angle, but you went out zero, so you ended up right there. Okay, then pi over four, pi over four, one minus cosine pi over four is one minus square root of two over two, which is about 707, so that's about 0.3. So I created this graph with it, with the ray I, I would need. But you would have to face in this direction, pi over four, out like that, and go out on it a 0.3 radius to get to this point right here. Okay, and then, let's erase that off there. Okay, and then for pi over two, one minus cosine of pi over two, which is zero, is one. So now you're here, and your pi over two angle is, you know, facing up this way like that, and you're going out on it, one unit, right along here, stopping there. Then, 3 pi over 4 is 1.7, because cosine of 3 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2, which is here, and 1 plus that, the decimal is about 1.7, so a 3 pi over 4 angle that's headed out this and you go out on there 1.7 you can see here's 1.7 so it's right here okay and you keep on doing that put in your points and go around the circle and you have to do enough so that you get some kind of pattern and you can see that when you result back to 2 pi it comes back to here okay so um, a cardioid is the shape that this is and just for your information there's a cardioid mic pattern um, which looks like this so that it picks up really great when you're standing in front of it here a little bit less uh, on these here and it cuts off a lot of stuff behind the mic it's just going to pick up in this pattern inside inside here all in there is where the sound is going to pick up into this mic which is good if you're doing a stage situation and here's the mic and you're shouting into it then you're going to get less crowd noise out here be behind the mic and more of you okay and that might be what you want Anyway, so that's a cardioid pattern, very popular with mics. Okay, um, here's graphing this with a graphing calculator. So first, parametric mode. Uh, you use x as r cosine t, y equals r sine t, and the r is right here. This is your r. And the r was defined up here as 1 minus cosine t. That's why this is here. So r cosine t. And y is r. There's your r again. Defined by the given equation up here. Times sine t. Right there. And that's on this. 
So you turn your you turn your angle into a parameter, which is what really that theta is anyway. Okay, so then to graph it on your calculator, you need uh, to go to mode and select the parameter there. Then in y equals, you get a x one t and a y one t to show up, and you type in uh, what those equations were. You fix the window to show what the area, the, the region you want to show, and then you put zoom square so that the tick marks are equal, so it'll it won't be bent out of shape. There's your cardioid pattern. Then the polar mode over here. You go to mode again, but this time you go polar. You put in the r equals 1 minus cosine theta. Again, fix the window, do the zoom square, and you get the same thing. Notice the resolution on these is a little bit jagged as it goes around. If you want to up the, up the uh, resolution, but suffer that the graph will take longer to show, then you hit the window button. This comes up. And you can see that this is your range of values from zero to two pi. There, that's you could read, you could change that. And the theta step is how many points, uh, how many, the distance in radians from one point to another, as far as uh, the angle being incrementing. So the default steps by 0.13 radians, and that's about 48 steps from 0 to 2 pi because you could just uh, divide you know, um, into 2 pi and, and you get 48 so 2 pi over 48 to see how long uh, how much radians each step is and it's pi over 24 so just for your information the default steps is at angles of pi over 24 for each step graphing points